A lot of it has to do with the questions and how they're asked. And where they're asked. Like if you, uh, okay, say the, the, uh, the, the chain that was sponsoring the thing is sitting right next door to the theater. <laughs> And you're more than likely going to have people say, yeah, we're going to go in there and look around. We'll buy something in the next month, the next two months, and so forth. And say there's no, in where the theater is, there is no representative of that chain within, you know, miles of the place. Mm -hmm. people don't even, or they don't even have a name recognition of the chain. So you can't measure, you know, it's just, it's a collision between old media and new media. Because we know how hard it is to make money. Like right now, we're we're getting ready to do major things. We're going to uh, okay. You're, we're going to the, we're going to be covering the Democratic convention this year, which is going to cost an arm and a leg. You know, we need. You know, we've got to dig up the sponsorship for that. That's followed by Create Tech in Japan, which is even going to cost another arm and a leg, and we have to get the commercial sponsorship for that. Followed by. Um, the industry forum, which is like a four-day event, which we need for the consumer electronics industry. And then there is uh, SEMA, which is another multi-day thing. You know, this, basically you have to, you know, because I mean, like we do, you know, we're, we're basically we do advertisements. People just have never really realized that they were getting advertisements. Now we're trying to do, you know, like pre-roll. I hate pre-roll. They pre-roll all of the. Our, okay, they don't pre-roll all our videos. They pre-roll our videos that people like the most. Yeah, on, on some of the um, video stations, video networks. Yeah, I mean, not all of them. But you'll, you know, you go look, and there will be a message that basically you have no control over. And basically, if people don't like the pre-roll, they don't watch the video. So basically, the pre-roll it it hurts us because we have no control over it. Well, they, and they've been pre-rolling movies, too. Yeah. Because movies, um, for example, if you download from like ABC, NBC, you know, in front of the networks, they'll do a pre-roll before you watch the movie, and then they have advertisements during the movie, that, yeah, and, like their commercial break. And because pre-rolls, often you can get stuck on a pre-roll where you can't bypass the pre-roll to see the product. Oh, you mean like when you have problems streaming the data and you have to keep reloading it and you've seen the same video entrance 20 times? That's just over and over and over again. Basically, you never get to the video, you know, because we, you know, we have a, we have a really good news site. But the heart and core of our site has always been our, our, our video work, you know, because since the beginning we've done, tried to do things that other people don't do which is why we are members of the Radio Television News Director Association because we work our rear ends off to be different than everybody else, mm -hmm. which brings us back to how we're doing commercial spots. Our, okay, if you pre-roll, people are going to simply toss you. They don't like mm -hmm. pre-roll. Uh, if you put it at the end, they're not going to watch it. So you have to put it within. What was the TV? Was it NTV? Remember with Jim Carrey? Yeah. And so they they were sitting there talking. We're going to bring this one up for for example. Um, they're sitting there talking, and all of a sudden he's in the kitchen, and she pulls pulls something up, and she starts talking about. Yeah. And so yeah, right. That's their product placement. And this placement. one is um, Lancome. It's sunscreen for your face and your lips. In fact, yeah. I don't know if anyone else that does no. sunscreen for your lips. But that's that works that way. But uh, yeah. But you you know but if you do it. In, uh, basically, if you do it in an intrusive manner, okay, let's say, uh, okay, let me go this way. This is a this is a product sample. You notice there's nothing on either side because it's basically not on sale. This is pirate sunscreen. Pirate, you know. But how can you tell there's no name on it? Because it's not on sale. That's why there are no. It is a it's a review copy, and basically. It's for us to sit there and plug the daylights out. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like pirates do use sunscreen because they're out in the sun, all the water all the time. But, uh, you know, this is an example. If you just simply, you know, okay, we just simply do, uh, you know, this is old cam coming to you with a, you know, with an advertisement, a blatant advertisement for pirate sunscreen. Pirate sunscreen will only cost you three ninety five at your local. People are going to turn that thing off. They do that, don't they? They are gonna, they're going to simply walk away. Because they always think, because traditionally with advertising spots are what, 30 seconds they're, a minute? Okay, they're, the attention span, they say it's 15 seconds now. But if you do, like, you sit there and do a blatant thing and go on and on about this thing, people are going to simply go to the bathroom on you. They're going to go to get something to drink. They're going to do like they do on television. 
So you can't really do a product placement that way. But if, for instance, uh, you do, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, where are you going to use this at? Oh, this is actually for a family cruise in Alaska. These are binoculars, my hobby. I took a look at all the different ones. Oh, yeah. let me see. And then she, see, she can't figure out how to use them, so that's, you know, that's a goodie. She hasn't but been able to make nice them. These are nice and small. You can take them with you. Yeah, but, she, but she's still got a problem. Well, first of all, you wear glasses. Some, well, binoculars with glasses are a pain in the butt to work uh, with because you have a problem focusing them. But, you know, you have to get used to it and so forth. But that is a, that's a... A that's a blatant commercial there that you can get away with because I'm making fun of the fact that she's got she can't w use it right. You get rid of that one. Oh, that was always why I had problems with the doctor. That's right. And then we got uh, you know you sit there. Okay. Like, well, actually, you know what? Why don't we move the? We'll move the. We'll okay. Move we'll, we'll just simply move the thing so you can sit there and um, there. See all of this stuff. Hey, why don't you cut it right there? talk about part of it is making it relevant. Yeah, well making okay. Where's make, the iPod? No, the iPod, okay. This okay. This is another example of uh hey, this is an iPod nano. You know, iPod nanos are really neat things if you happen to have an Apple computer. And, and thanks to Hitachi. <laughs> Hitachi, see that's an advertisement there. But uh, this will hold like uh, this is a new little silver job. This one holds. You know, basically, we intend to use this as soon as we can get to, get into an Apple computer to load it. Well, actually, you know, part of it is we wipe out all of the data because we work with PCs and not Apple. Yeah, so and they're designed for. Uh, okay, you can do it if you have iTunes on your computer. My, you know, my laptop doesn't like it. it doesn't like QuickTime. If it doesn't like QuickTime, you can't load iTunes. And you need iTunes. Everything connected with Apple, iPods, all this stuff must have iTunes in order to do it. But this, you know, this piece here, we intend to use this to put, um, you know, demonstrations of what we actually do. But and it's, actually, uh, that's one thing you can do because sometimes you can watch movies. Like we can download screeners um, yeah. to evaluate movies. Yeah. Planning on doing in the future. Yeah. Or we can put old cams and non-spring checks, or we can listen to movies and things yeah. like that. In fact, do you think the digital copy will work on that? There's a yeah. di digital no. copy. According for to you. the thing, this one worked. This was a, you know, a digital copy thing, which uh, basically, uh, you know, we got this. You know, this, you know, 20th Century Fox was nice enough to give us this thing. What, 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 what? You know, it's a simple, fast, portable with digital copies doing a portable version of your favorite film. It's never been easier. Simply transfer the included file to your PC, iPod, or other compatible player. You get your entertainment fix when you want, where you want. I mean, this is, you know, this is a thing. So want. we can take that and put it on a PSP, or an anything, iPod. Anything that will play movies, you can put this See, thing on. now that's pretty cool. Yeah, see, now this is another form of advertisement that you can get away with as well. Bounced on you. Oh yeah, now this one actually this is a company called FlexPlay. Yeah. And here we're, we're discussing what it is and sometimes when you're um, listening to things like I saw something about her um, drinks. Yeah. Which I'm looking at them going, why would the TV station be talking about her other than it being a, because they had like three or four different spots and it's like yeah. because they're getting, as much as you like it, it doesn't they're getting really warrant paid that much product. news. Yeah. I mean, like this thing, you know, like this is this is a means like this one. This here, one right this, here. This is a means of, of making money on the internet. You know, if people like this that want to get their product seen in as wide an audience as possible, which also has to do it in a non-intrusive manner. If you simply, once again, say, uh, this is FlexPlay, visit us at FlexPlay.com, you know, and then you go uh, read about the product and tell the people the price, and they're not going to pay the slightest bit of attention to but it. But this one right here, what, it's, you open it, you watch it for two days, and then you recycle it. Then you recycle it. You recycle it when the DVD expires, but yeah. our DVD, don't they have to crunch those up? Anyway, yeah, they the papers up. recyclable. They, 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 they melt them down, use them again, they make little pieces, but honestly, would you watch a 60 second spot for this company? Oh, why? That's the, <laughs> that's, that's the whole trick. Why? So, and then, well, <laughs> okay, is that me or is that just other, other people? And here's the other thing. This is the soundtrack for Mamma Mia. Mama they, Mia. This is also a different one probably than the Broadway version. Yeah. The movie's just... <laughs>